Good afternoon. For those who are new, I'm Dr. Theron Sherman, and in today's briefing we will be discussing SCP-6679. This article comes with a content warning. This article contains themes of misogyny and deals with just girly things. Reader discretion is advised. This work depicts a man behaving negatively. For examples of positive male representation, refer to other works on the SCP wiki. Does anyone in the class have any problems moving forward? No? Then let's begin. Excerpt from the letter of senior researcher Dr. Paul McKinnon, addressed to the Site-219 Containment Supervisors. Our site has no experience with Group of Interest 4319, otherwise known as Just Girly Things. As such, I would like to recommend my co-worker, Dr. Alexandra Stewart, for the role of lead researcher of SCP-6679. Due to her excellent track record with memetic anomalies and her high cognitive resistance value. Item Number SCP-6679 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures As SCP-6679 is uploaded to three random streaming platforms at midnight GMT-5 on a daily basis, Foundation web crawler IO The True Meaning has been assigned to remove these listings as soon as they appear. IO The True Meaning has also been tasked with locating mentions of SCP-6679 on social media or movie forums and deploying an amnestic visual agent to the affected pages. The page is then to be deleted or locked, depending on the medium. A copy of SCP-6679 is to be stored on a Foundation computer in Site-219 for testing purposes. Every testing request must be submitted to lead researcher, pending reassignment, for approval. Personnel assigned to SCP-6679 must have a cognitive resistance value no lower than 6. Description SCP-6679 refers to a very girly holiday movie, a film released by Sparkly Pink Productions. The story opens with a wealthy and influential businesswoman ending up stranded in a village for a month due to unspecified reasons. The lumberjack of the village offers her to stay at his home. Throughout the movie, he introduces her to quote, the true meaning of Christmas, end quote, which leads to the resignation of the businesswoman from her job on Christmas Eve. The film ends with her choosing to spend the rest of her life in the village, claiming that the purpose of life lies not in wealth and success, but in love and family. SCP-6679 is affiliated with Group of Interest 4319, otherwise known as Just Girly Things. After watching the movie, women and persons assigned female at birth become convinced that their current job and career does not bring them happiness, if employed, or that attaining a job in the future will not bring them happiness either, if unemployed. Footnote. Previously, based on Dr. McKinnon's hypothesis, it was believed that a sufficiently high cognitive resistance value would be able to mitigate this effect in affected persons. This hypothesis is presently under investigation. Instead, they become convinced that leading a fulfilling life lies in retiring to a rural cottage with their romantic partner. If the affected individual does not currently possess a partner, the anomalous effect of SCP-6679 will compel them to find one. The anomaly was discovered following a routine weekly sweep of online spaces for memetic and cognitohazardous materials on July 8, 2018. At the time of discovery, it was present on 12 different streaming platforms in total. Addendum 6679-1 Incident 6679-1 November 12, 2018 On the night of July 29, 2018, lead researcher Dr. Alexandra Stewart submitted a letter of resignation to the Site-219 HR department citing that Foundation work means nothing to her anymore and that she now aspires to lead a simpler life with her romantic partner. Dr. Stewart disappeared the following morning, with site staff having no time to confront her or try to dissuade her. As Dr. Stewart reportedly enjoyed working at the Foundation, was on track to become the head of the site's memetic research division, and expressed no desire in finding a romantic partner prior to her disappearance, the resignation letter raised concerns among the majority of staff members at Site-219. Commentary of Senior Researcher Dr. Paul McKinnon The resignation of Dr. Stewart was a shock to us all. We all know how she used to stay at her desk until late at night, or how she would spend hours upon hours in the site's library refreshing or expanding her vast knowledge of anomalies, and now, within a moment's notice, all gone. Blaming SCP-6679 for this would be the most straightforward option. It would, however, also be the most close-minded one. Women are not free of errors. It is possible that Stewart simply forgot to follow some vital steps of the special containment procedures, and this carelessness costs her her career. As sad as it may be, that is the most likely explanation. 
Regardless, whatever would be the reason behind her resignation, whether it is human incompetence or simply the desire to find a family, a desire that drives every woman deep down, I wish Dr. Stewart good luck in her newfound life and encourage other staff members at Site-219 to do the same. Following her disappearance, the position of the head of the Mimetic Research Division of Site-219 has been given to Dr. Paul McKinnon, the second-in-priority candidate for the position. Attempts to locate Dr. Stewart are currently underway. Huh. Uh, pardon my language, but he fucking did it, right? Are, are we all in agreement about that? I mean, it's pretty obvious, I think. Man, I've always hated that jerk-off. We met at a Site-42, Site-219 joint team-building exercise, and God, he was a prick. Okay, I'm gonna go report this to the Ethics Committee. You guys, uh, assignment... I want you to write out what his punishment should be. I'll submit that to the Ethics Committee. I'll check in at 1900 hours. Uh, dismissed. Uh, ethics Committee's gonna have a field day with this one. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.